Crossfitters are like fitness gypsies. All of our weights look like they're gigantic 45 pound weights, but some of them are actually just 10 pounds. Fooled ya. How cool is my hair? Apparently it's cool enough to make things fall down. On September 16th and 15th, that was back ass words, I will be at the BSM booth at the Olympia in Las Vegas. So if you're there, well, pop by so I can meet you. I was at the BSM booth at the Arnold in 2016 and I had dieted so hard and done tons of cardio and tons of working out to try and get as lean as possible for the show because, well, unfortunately aesthetics at that time, that was what I thought defined me according to other people's perceptions. There I was in the booth and guess what booth was across from ours? Rogue Fitness. So I was looking at everybody in the Rogue Fitness booth the whole weekend and I was like, what is my life? These people were doing snatches, cleans. They were doing muscle ups. I thought, well, I could never do that. Am I even fit? What I did is I marched over to the Rogue Fitness booth and I said, hey, do you guys ship residentially to Canada? And they said, well, yes, we do. I bought myself a Rogue rack and it's in my living room. And I realized, okay, I don't know how to use this. And I hired an expert in Olympic lifting and I decided to become a CrossFit level one trainer because my goal was to get fitter. It is incredible just how far I have come. Four months ago, I had such horrible knee pain in both knees that I couldn't even squat or go up and down stairs. I had a seized up shoulder. I didn't have full range of motion there. I was absolutely not flexible. I thought I was fit at the time too. I thought I was hot-ish on a silver platter, but it turned out I was just lukewarm diarrhea on a paper plate. And I still am. I know I am on a journey. It's an odyssey and it takes years, but it's so motivating. My point is four months have passed and I'm a completely different person. My body is no longer achy. I don't have pain anywhere. I have incredible flexibility. In fact, I can do the splits all three ways. My shoulder range of motion is so epic. I can hold handstands for 20 seconds and I have no issues squatting, deadlifting, and now I'm learning Olympic lifting. In fact, I can finally do chin-ups and pull-ups. And for like 20 years of my life, I tried to learn them and I could never even do one. Sure, it's nice to look good, but there's more to life than the way you look, especially considering that's ephemeral. My point is that in years past, I showed up to my expo appearances having dieted down to 120 to 126 pounds at five foot six. I mean, look at this photo here. I look like freaking Skeletor. Somebody hooked me up to an IV. This time around, I'm going into the expo at 140 pounds of awesomeness. That's right. I have put on muscle. I have shaved myself a nice bum, but more importantly, I can do cool stuff with my body. So anybody who dares to give me side eye, okay, side eye person, let me ask you this. Can you do the splits? Can you do a handstand for 20 seconds? Can you do overhead squats? How long does it take you to run a mile? 800 meters, 400 meters. And is it faster than the week before and the week before that? Huh? Huh? In conclusion, Training for performance has changed my entire life, my entire outlook, and it has improved my self-worth, and it gives me daily motivation unlike never before. Being consistent is a piece of cake with this approach. I mean, today I had two PRs with my sprinting, and that makes me feel so much better than anything the bathroom scale could have told me, or some random stranger on Instagram could have told me commenting on my photo. I make the choice to define what it is that's gonna make me feel really awesome. I am proud of my physique because it does amazing things. Getting ready to film my chocolate peanut butter candy bar recipe. I recommend you get one of these, they're like eight bucks. Watch this. Look at that, look at that. So don't comment below. Oh, Sarah, where's the recipe? I wanna see the recipe. Just click the damn card, okay? I posted my candy bar recipe on my Facebook page today and somebody commented, Dr. Sarah has the best DSLs. And I'm like, DSLs? What's that? DSL? Um, well, I guess he's referring to my digital snack library, so thanks. I thought I better look it up before saying thank you, just in case, because like, you never know. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. And now I will clean my BSN delivery. Look out. This was what was inside those boxes. I always pop my fish oil during my eating window and I store it in the fridge. That doesn't look good.
Are you done? If you follow my fat loss fast system, you know that I use Amino X for my fasted morning workouts. So both of these products give us the BCAAs and this one also gives us the pre-workout benefit of caffeine, the extra energy. These are my favorite flavors of Synthesis Edge and you see that I use these in my protein fudge recipe, my protein candy bar recipes, and you can find all four of these BSN supplements on my website, on the homepage at drsarahsolomon.com. Oh, good thing there's an outlet there for all the plugs I just made. Ooh, I just tried the Fruit Punch Amino X Edge. So good. It has caffeine in it. Can you tell? When I'm at the Olympia, there isn't a ton of free time for me to get food. So what I do is I pack portable stuff in my suitcase, like protein bars, the canned tuna, the high fiber crisp bread. I like it because it makes me feel full and it keeps me regular. All of this is 150 calories and 16 grams of protein. So I'm at my computer and I'm not eating peanut butter. I swear. How do I turn this around? Why can't I turn the screen around? I want to turn the screen around. This is my VIP Team SS Facebook group. Today I just posted a quickie tutorial video on how to go about flexible dieting, how you track your calories and macros. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I'm getting a kitten on September 19th. So soon there will be two. Would you like to cut her claws for me? No, absolutely <laughs> not. Today's fitness fashion is brought to us by La Bella Mafia pantaloons and Nine Inch Nails because I love Trent Reznor. Today's fitness fashion is brought to you by Bodybuilding.com. The top and socks are better bodies. The sports bra is Bodybuilding.com and... These leggings are vintage Lululemon, and they've lasted me for years because I always hang my leggings to dry. Same with my sports bras. Today's fitness fashion is Reebok. You can see that it has convenient air conditioning on the sides. Today's tank top and tights are brought to us by Reebok. I bought this in blue, and I loved it so much I got it in black. I'm one of those people who gets every color if I like it. And then the sports bras decor. Today's fitness fashion is brought to us by BSN and the color red. And I will be wearing not this at the BSN booth on Friday and Saturday next week at the Olympia. I had requests to showcase some of my movement prep. I mean, obviously, I'm not a one-year-old cat who can fling around without warming up. I'm almost 40 years old, so if I want to squat, I need to do a lot of stuff first. So let's start off with the foam roller. I'm working on my hip flexor, and I attack. This is a problem area for me. Now keep in mind this is not an exhaustive list of movement prep. I'm just showing some things that I do. I don't do everything in one day, obviously. So I love doing this one for my shoulders. It's really helped me improve my shoulder range of motion, which has helped me with overhead squatting, my handstands. I'm just using a two pound PVC pipe. You could use a broomstick. Here I'm working on mobility drills to improve my front rack position, my handstands, my gymnastics, my cleans, my overhead squats. Oh, oh, I love the windshield wipers. I didn't realize just how crappy my rotational mobility of my spine was. Notice that the opposite shoulder, I'm trying not to let it come up off the carpet. See how I'm trying to keep it down? So don't let that lift up too much. And you can see I turned this into a core exercise. It's very obvious that I'm using my core to bring my legs up and over. This is very challenging. So start with the bent knees. And there you can see I'm doing a good job trying to keep that shoulder down on the carpet. Hi Coco! I stretch my hip flexor just by squeezing my glutes and tucking my pelvis under. I also stretch it the old fashioned way just because I want to. And my piriformis, wow, that has been one of my most improved stretches. I was atrocious at this before. Ooh, this is good for improving the bottom position of your squat. You kind of just look like a frog. It'll make your hip adductors scream. Oh, somebody please give me a sticker right now. I deserve a sticker because I couldn't do this at all. Like seriously, my hip external rotation, my hip mobility was atrocious. So the fact that I can do any of this is incredible. Now notice there's no specific thing I'm doing here. I'm just actually hunting for my sketchy spots and I'm working on it. 
So don't be like, oh, she's not doing a textbook. No, I'm doing it based on where I feel the tightness and then I focus in on that spot. So, hey Tess, back off. This is the pigeon stretch. I like doing this one to stretch out my whole posterior chain, kills my Achilles, my calves. Sometimes I think getting 15 paper cuts on my finger would be more pleasant than this stretch. So I did all those other things consistently for four months to be able to learn how to do the splits. And everything was gradual. I didn't want to tear anything. So don't go from zero to hero. Russian baby makers, great for improving your squat bottom position. Here's another example of me trying to work out my problem zones. I'm working on improving my hip mobility. It's also a fire hydrant, which is great for strengthening your glute med, which is gonna really help you with squatting. And here we go, air squats. This is probably the most underrated form of movement in the history of mankind. Air squats, they can rock my world. It's just an air squat, but I sweat. Sometimes it feels like five million pounds are strapped to my body when I'm doing this. And see how I just hold the bottom position? This is gonna help you develop so much strength. I do air squats pff, almost every day. I think this is the most important movement we need to be able to do well into our 80s and 90s, so squat. Here I'm doing banded good mornings because I'm about to do deadlifts. So I'm just making sure everything's recruited and Coco is Kango kicking the pumpkin, good girl. Because I was willing to devote so much time to improving my core and glute strength, my mobility, now I'm ready to start doing more exciting things like deadlifts and cleans. That's right. I have a treat for you. I videoed my first lesson on how to do cleans. This is my coach, Gus. Shoulders come over the hips, then I bring the hips over the heels. And just let your arms be relaxed. Right, your, your lats are engaged. So see how there it went out. Went forward. So you want to kind of stay over it a little bit longer, come up and have it shoot up. Here, and then at this stage, punch her elbows under and jump her feet out to her squat stance. Good. Can you actually show me what I'm doing versus what I'm supposed to do? So, it's just that from here, you're just a little bit slow. Oh. Be quick under it, right? So, by the time it hits, I want to be... My elbows are... Okay. I want to be up, active, really kind of accelerating through. Good. I'm just driving my knees back and loading my hamstrings. Good. Well, Yes! Chops and then squeeze, squeeze your lats and pull your elbows forward. Don't let them flare back. Damn it. Knuckles to the ceiling. Good. Breathe in, press that belly out. And then it's back. Good. Did I do it? Yeah. That was really hard, eh? Think about touching your hamstrings to your calves. The best advice I can give you is to just keep piecing the days together and be patient. You're going to have to put forth effort. Sure, Gus can show me how to do something, but at the end of the day, it's up to me to hone that skill, to work at it, to make the choice to get more flexible, to get stronger. He can't do that for me. Just like with the fat loss fat system, I can't just, you know, give it to you and be like, poof, now you're going to lose fat. It's up to you to read the material, implement, be your own guinea pig, experiment, and do it. You just have to do it. Do it well. There's a difference between doing something and doing something well. At the end of the day, when you're lying in bed, you know if you did a good job or if you didn't do a good job. Be honest with yourself. I have one thing to say, and then I'll go. I get results when I'm consistent. When I'm not consistent and I'm not disciplined, I don't get results. I want to inspire people who think that it's not possible to change your situation because it is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below. I love reading your comments. The next vlog will be my Olympia extravaganza. Subscribe or else 
ingrown hairs. 